Victoria Schaefer lived and also had a business here in Chillicothe, a photography studio. And it was her work that took her to Hocking Hills on Labor Day. Photography was Victoria Schaefer's passion. She was doing what she loved when she was hit by a log at Old Man's Cave and died. I don't really need anything, um, just some answers. When Victoria's husband Fritz spoke to us last month, he didn't have any answers. Now family and friends do. Tara Gillum was working at Steiner's Speakeasy last night when she and her customers heard the news. Two teens arrested in connection with her friend's death. It was shock because as much as I wanted answers and everybody wanted answers, I don't know that I thought that we were going to get any. And then relief, you know, it was like a good solid five minutes of I can't believe this is real. The Hocking County prosecutor says two 16 year olds from Logan, Ohio, which is near Hocking Hills, admitted to forcing a 74 pound log off a cliff. It fell more than 75 feet and hit Schaefer as she was taking senior photos for a group of high school students. Afterwards, Victoria's husband had put out a plea for help on WLWT. Well, I just want anybody that was here or there on Labor Day, even if it was earlier in the day, to just uh, call the DNR or call, if you prefer to call Crime Stoppers. Information received from the public led investigators to the teenagers. Investigators say they received a tip about a text message one of the teens sent to a classmate saying he and a friend did something serious at the park. The boys were arraigned today. As the legal process progresses, those close to Victoria say she would be the first to forgive. And last night when people in here were talking about it, that seemed to be the reoccurring thing was that, you know, that there would, she 100% would have, would have forgiven. Both teenagers face reckless homicide charges, but the prosecutor says that could change as more information comes in. In Chillicothe, Karen Johnson, WLWT News 5.